Hello everybody, welcome to the Daily Splat. Now then, yesterday I said that today's video was going to be another story from the last couple of weeks during the hiatus that was a tad embarrassing. Well, I'm gonna have to delay it, uh, probably until tomorrow, because uh, there's a couple of things that need to talk about more urgently. Um, first of which, the, uh, on the 6th of February, it was the uh, 54th anniversary of the Munich air disaster, something which um, obviously had a profound effect on the club Manchester United. For the uninformed, uh, the 1958, on February the 6th, the Manchester United team uh, was flying back from a European uh, quarter-final match, which they'd won against Red Star Belgrade, or they won the tie. Um, they were through to the semi-finals, and this was an outstanding team that had been built together by a brilliant manager, uh, Matt Busby. And he had this team of youngsters called the Busby Babes, and they had uh, landed in Germany. It was very, very snowy, um, terrible conditions, and the plane attempted to take off a couple of times, and on the third attempt of take off, the plane crashed, and uh, people were killed. Um, it, it was an absolute tragedy. I believe it was 23 people in total were killed, eight of which were players, um, you know, young men who were tremendous athletes, just killed, cut down, um, including the absolutely outstanding Duncan Edwards. Um, you know, the manager, Matt Busby, very nearly died a few times. He eventually recovered and went on to manage United for many many more years, um, eventually getting them to the European Cup and win, win the European Cup and things of that nature. And it was the 54th anniversary um, on the 6th uh, yesterday, and it was remiss of me not to bring it up, but I thought I'd bring it up today. Um, so obviously, you know, 54 years on, still being remembered very, um, very, very effectively by, by the current club, and it's an important part of the history. And, um, yeah, as, as a very much a Manchester United fan, as you can you know, tell by this and various other t-shirts I've worn, um, it's, it's very important that we continue to remember this, um, this event. The second thing, the thing I really wanted to talk about today, was that today is the 200th anniversary of the birth of Charles Dickens, one of the most important literary figures of uh, the last, well, 200 years. In fact, it could be said one of the most important literary figures ever. When people think of, um, you know, great authors of the past, if you ask them to name 10 after somebody said Shakespeare, which I know technically was a playwright, but you get the idea. 10 famous writers from the past. After you get past Shakespeare, within the remaining nine, Dickens is almost certainly going to get mentioned. Um, tremendous writer. He wrote one of my all-time favourite stories, uh, A Christmas Carol. Uh, he's wrote loads of other really good stories I've enjoyed reading. Um, just really good, you know, Bleak House, Hard Times, Oliver Twist, um, A Great Expectations, A Tale of Two Cities. You know, really, really good, well put together. David Copperfield, which I haven't read, but I uh, am planning on doing so. Um, cracking cracking books, really good author, and uh, yeah, one of the finest writers, fiction writers, that this world has seen. Um, so, you know, uh, happy 200th birthday, Charles. Um, yeah, and basically, I suppose the point of this video is if you haven't familiarised familiarized yourself with the work of Charles Dickens, go out and read one of them. I'd recommend A Christmas Carol as the first one, because everyone sort of knows the story, thanks to various retellings by Disney, The Muppets, the Bill Murray film Scrooge, uh, the recent Christmas Carol, which had Jim Carrey as uh, Scrooge. You know, there's been many... The, the, there's the really old one from the late 40s, or early 50s, that's quite popular. Um, you know, there's loads of different versions of A Christmas Carol. It is well worth... That one's probably well worth reading, because... It's also short <laughs> compared to some of those other ones. It's actually kind of short, so it's a good one to get yourself introduced into the world of uh, Dickensian writing, and then from there, obviously, you move on to your Oliver Twist and your Bleak House, etc. Um, well worth reading. Cracking author. Well done, Charlie. And uh, yeah, happy two hundredth birthday. Okay, uh, that is all for today. Tomorrow, maybe. 
just maybe an embarrassing, slightly embarrassing story. Uh, until then, bye bye. I've missed it again. I'm bloody useless. Right, finger over the button. <sighs> Goodbye.